Tip of the Week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the Village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Hi, Gregory Ford here at Northwest Outfitters, and I'd like to talk to you about the three different kind of applications of floatant that we can put on our flies. The first floatant that we have is a gel that we like to lightly apply onto the materials, the parachute, or even the tailings of the fly to absorb so it can hold better on the water. And what you want to do is lightly apply all the gel to all the material on whatever fly that you're using, the parachute, the body, the tail, so that it all the material absorbs the gel floatant as best as possible. Our dust floatant is the second type of floatant that we like to use. We have two different bottles here. For the smaller bottle we have a little brush and what you would like to do is lightly apply on all the tops of the materials of whatever fly you're using so that it absorbs any excess water or moisture out of the material of your fly. The bigger bottle a little bit easier to manage. The bigger bottle is kind of nice because you can actually just drop your fly in the bottle instead of using the brush and then you can close it, give it a light little shake and your fly has been dusted. Third type and final type is one of our favorites here at the shop is a liquid floatant with the high and dry floatant. One thing you do have to watch out for when you buy a brand new one they have a little sticker on top so if you pull your sticker off you can lose your lid. So just be wary of that. Our liquid floatant again like the dry fly bigger bottle, you like to drop your fly in, let the excess off, and I let that dry for a minute before you go in the water, and that's about as good as dry fly as you can get on it with the liquid floating. If you were to be using this fly on the river and it was already wet, we would recommend that you would use the dry floating to get the excess water off your fly, absorb all that moisture out of the material, let it dry, and then reapply with the liquid floating again. And that's about as good as you're going to get on your dry fly.